Greetings, this is Jared. It's uh, April something, uh, Tuesday, 2015, and here's a batch of Raven, New Raven Ultralight and Baby Crow Ultralight daggers. I'm going to change the profile of the Tang in the next batch, so at least on the Baby Crows, um, or maybe we can make a new model, maybe a Fat Baby Crow, which will be multiple use, not just a dagger. These will all be um, permanently attached micarta or G10 grips and they'll be like CNC textured here on the in the in-house CNC router which is behind that sheet. Um, I organized the shop a little bit to encourage more workflow with some of the new stuff and I probably already showed you that um, new table last week. I haven't done a whole lot in that regard but I wanted to show you something cool that I found a solution to you see there's two yellow hoses up there and I got one vacuum cleaner in this box and the reason for that is so that it sounds a little something like this instead of being really ridiculously loud and annoying. So I've got two hoses coming out of here. I made a Y fitting because nobody makes a Y fitting for um, small vacuum hose. So I just found some old two inch pipe and I then I stuck a, some tape on it to make it fit the hoses better. And then I also put a lacrosse ball as a block. I drilled a hole through it with a lathe on a drill bit and then I've got a stopper so I've got my own blast gate and I just when I need the CNC router I will hook up the other hose and then change the lacrosse ball to the other side it's all about lacrosse um, got a new desk from my grandma's house for the refinishing station really happy to have the the blasting cabinet with with a vacuum that's going to be HEPA filtration and quiet and it'll be much much nicer to use and that'll be the next big task is a lot of sandblasting coming up after heat treat here's where I am at in the grinding room I'm still working on uh, these little blades and big blades uh, these are done with the um, water cooled platen radius cutter as you see here and it's not really wearing yet but it's shiny um, and then in order to get good traction I've tried the epoxy grit which was a bad idea I mean it worked but it by principle it's a bad idea because you're putting grit on the inside of your belts but since then I bought some excuse the jumpiness I bought some of this stuff, plastic dip, that I found at Home Depot. And I'm gonna try it out and see if it works any better. And I did figure out that the best belt to use with this direct contact quarter inch platen is the Trizac CF Gator Belts. And I'm still using the bungee cord on this side so that I don't have too much friction. And then we're gonna plug it in, make some noise with the face converter, and see what happens. Turn on the pump, water pump too. Oh yeah, that is so much better. Unbelievable, more, way more power compared to a smooth aluminum belt. I, I, was, I was easily slowing down the belt. I found that about 12 hertz on a... Um, okay. So 12 hertz on my setup, 
Yeah, that's kind of tacky. 12 hertz on my setup, which is a 2 horsepower, 1800 RPM motor. And I've got about a 5 inch pulley on the bottom and a 2 inch pulley on the top. That does a fine job with the rubber um, sprayed on wheel. So that is a great solution for you guys who already have, um, whatchamacallit, this is like six bucks. Already have a KMG with a regular wheel. Go buy this plastic dip at Home Depot and shake the hell out of it. And then do like four coats. I mean, I, this is the first time I've actually tried it. So that worked great, but you can see I just sprayed it on. I sprayed it on while the wheel, while the um, grinder was moving about, it's about as slow as I could turn it, just free. And um, that worked great. I'm so happy. Uh, also, I did buy some, I ordered some, a couple of step pulleys from an electric, electric motor warehouse place that had the Massic or some kind of, weird name pulleys. They look the same. They're the same ones that they sell you from KMG, but they're less money because they're more of a specialty house. And so I bought step pulleys for this setup so I can get even more gear reduction or go faster, which will be nice with that slow moving motor. Um, I've already done all these um, little multi-tools um, with the 160 a trizac belt, so I'll probably, um, I don't know, still got more work to do on that. And then of course, I've got a lot more work to do on all of these guys. And that's where I was having problems with the traction, was that on a big, big blade, where you got more surface area, it was slowing down that belt and it was slipping on the contact or the drive wheel. So that's why I wanted to buy the, or have a rubber traction wheel. Um, that's basically all that's going on. Um, the CNC shop who's doing the, the mill work on the tomahawks, so axe edge, underhooks, and mohawk edge, um, they had to have the tool that they had made for it reground because it was getting dull. So they've, they're going to be doing the rest of these hopefully soon. And then I'll do a video of that process in, op in action. You can see on this one that the the bevel is a little bit in the wrong place. This line right where my thumb is should be co-radial co with the hand stop line. So I'll, there's going to be some of these that are not quite perfect in it. And then uh, hopefully we'll adjust the tool to be the right angle on the next batch. Um, or maybe I'll be able to adjust it with my dynafile when I sharpen them. Anyways, that's an eight minute video, which is about the average. Hope everybody's good in YouTube land, and if you have a KMG grinder, go buy some of this stuff. Plastic dip from Home at Home Depot. Um, I'm gonna try to get the new cut list done soon. I've been saying that for months, it seemed like, but stuff gets in the way. All right, see you next time.